friends in this session we will understand what are algebraic expressions our friend ragu is given a good opportunity by his parents on planting saplings ragu's parents would reward him in the following manner if he plants up to 3 saplings in a week they will give him 4 chocolates for each sapling and if he plants more than 3 saplings then he will get 2 chocolates for each extra sapling that he plants ragu thinks how many chocolates he will get if he plants two additional saplings in the first week can you answer this question we know that on planting first three saplings he will get four chocolates per sapling hence he will get 12 chocolates for planting three saplings now he will get two chocolates for planting each additional saplings which means he will get four more chocolates for these two additional saplings so ragu will get a total of 16 chocolates on planting five saplings similarly what if ragu plants four additional saplings next week for the first three saplings he will get 12 chocolates and for the additional four saplings he will get two chocolates per sapling this way ragu will get a total of 20 chocolates what if ragu plants seven extra saplings in the third week he will get a total of 12 plus 2 times 7 which is equal to 26 chocolates now look carefully at these three calculations do we see any pattern in each calculation everything is the same except for 2 4 7 these numbers are the number of extra saplings ragu has planted now if we replace the number of extra saplings with letter x we will get this x is the number of additional saplings planted we know that your x is called a variable 12 plus 2x is called an expression or an algebraic expression expressions are formed by variables and constants so we can say that this expression is formed by x multiplied by 2 and the constant is 12 so now this expression makes it easy to find the number of chocolates that ragu got we have to place the number of additional saplings planted by ragu in place of x on the basis of the value of the variable x the value of the expression will change let's understand some points about algebraic expressions suppose we are given two expressions what do you think expression a is greater than b or b is greater than a the easiest way to find this is to use the number line yes we can represent an expression on the number line let's represent the sum of x and 10 on the number line let us assume that variable x is positioned here on the number line therefore x plus 10 will be positioned 10 units ahead of x let's represent x plus 10 with the letter p in a similar manner we can represent x plus 12 on the number line it will be 12 units ahead of x here the value of x plus 12 is represented by q here we can see very clearly that point q lies ahead of point p it means that the sum of x and 12 is greater than the sum of x and 10 This way we can compare the expressions by representing them on the number line. Today in this session we saw what algebraic expressions are. In the next session we will see some more examples and understand the elements of algebraic expressions.